Salut, c'est Géraldine, bienvenue sur Comme une Française TV, Sun French, even to the French. Every year in the fall, many French monuments and landmarks open as an exception just for one weekend. This weekend is called Les Journées du Patrimoine. Les Journées du Patrimoine. Let's dive in. In 1984, France started a new yearly event, one day of Porte Ouverte, open doors, Porte Ouverte for many monuments and historical buildings. This day quickly became a weekend and soon the program was adopted by the whole European Union. So it's now Les Journées Européennes du Patrimoine. Les Journées Européennes du Patrimoine, or in English, the European Heritage Days. In France, the event takes place on the third weekend of September. The public gets access to museums and old buildings for free, or at least at a reduced price. And because many of these interesting landmarks aren't usually open to the public, that weekend is the only occasion to visit them. Most places offer a free guided tour. Well, it's usually free. Though you might have to book a reservation with the company or association in charge of the building. The tone and the angle for the explanations loosely follow the theme of the event. This event is broad and changes every year. In 2016, it will be Patrimoine and Citoyenneté. Patrimoine and Citoyenneté. Heritage and Citizenship. France counts a ton of lieux de prestige. Lieu de prestige, prestigious places. They often have special visits available for les journées du patrimoine. For instance, le Musée du Louvre, the Louvre Museum, home of the Mona Lisa, offers free visits and tickets for the whole weekend, and concerts are held in the chapel. In le Château de Versailles, le Château de Versailles, palace of Louis XIV, the Sun King, outside Paris, a whole new wing opens for these days, and that area of the castle is usually completely closed off from the public, but the French Republic's parliament uses it for the most important votes. Other castles, like Les Châteaux de la Loire, Les Châteaux de la Loire, castles on the river Loire, such as Chambord or Chenonceau, will organize various shows and concerts, free visits as well, and special events in old towers or secret courtyards. By the way, you will find the official interactive map in the video description on the blog with all the places and events for the weekend. Les Journées du Patrimoine are also a rare occasion to visit les lieux de pouvoir, places of power of the French Republic in Paris. Their doors are usually closed except for this event, especially this year with the theme of citizenship. You will be able to visit the gardens and the salon of the Palais de l'Elysée, the residence of Napoleon I and the current presidents of the French Republic. L'Hôtel de Matignon, l'Hôtel de Matignon will be open to the public as well. The 18th century building is the former home of Talleyrand and le Général de Gaulle, but it's now famous for being the official house of the Prime Minister head of the French government. On the legislative side of the Republic, le Palais Bourbon, le Palais Bourbon and le Palais du Luxembourg, le Palais du Luxembourg, where l'Assemblée Nationale and le Sénat, the National Assembly and the Senate hold their respective sessions, are also open to the public on this weekend. All these buildings are full of the glidings and ornaments of the past. The Republic is fond of the historical prestige of the former kings and emperors. But heritage doesn't only come from royal castle and Parisian museums. Le patrimoine local, le patrimoine local, local heritage, represents all the history that one can still find in every town, city and place. Les Journées du Patrimoine are not limited to the biggest monuments, they are also an occasion to discover the past of places nearby that you never really knew much about. L'église du village, l'église du village, the town church, for example, or l'hôtel de ville, the city hall. On this weekend, you can take special tours around your own city to find out more about the history behind the places you pass by every day. It's also a good opportunity to go for a walk in parks or local forests to follow stories of the fountains, gardens, or old aqueducts. Some of it finally is more insolite. 
insolite à New Visual. During this weekend, you can also visit the headquarters of France Télévision, for example, France Télévision, behind the scenes of a public TV network, or maybe you will want to learn about the secrets of the underground metro, or old factories and unknown trades. For instance, down the street from here, there will be a demonstration of traditional leather bindings of old books, showing us the tools and manufacturing steps from the 18th century leather binders. This craftsman is keeping alive the heritage of those who are keeping alive the heritage of the old books. And that's pretty cool. Et toi, have you ever been to European Heritage Days in France? Which aspect of heritage in your own city would you like to know more about? Any tips to share about European Heritage Day in France? That would be very useful to the community. Share your experience, share your tips in French if you dare in the comments below the video on the blog. We can all learn from your story. The comment section is the best place to start discussions and ask me questions. Please comment if you like this video or if you have something to add or want me to talk about. I read all the comments, especially yours. If you like this video, share it with your friends on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Pinterest, by email or talking to your neighbor, your friend or your brother. Help me spread the word about Camille Française. Merci! Love French, dream of sounding in French, even to the French, and that's hard. Learn how with me, Géraldine, on communefrancaise.com and subscribe to my email updates for exclusive tips on real life in French every Tuesday, plus exclusive tips and video lessons such as introduce yourself in French. And it's free. Merci for watching Communes Française TV, sound French, even to the French. Allez, salut!